So today we're at Ginzink Steel. Mike and I are going to measure these bores on these pieces here, these fabbed pieces. It's kind of loud in here, so we'll probably capture just a little bit of this, but inside of Polyworks you'll see what we're going to do. We're actually taking these four bores as individuals and we're going to measure them for concentricity. So there's two, there's two bores here. So what we'll do is we'll look at them as individuals compared to each other for concentricity. So we'll find the drawing and we'll show that to you guys, but we'll show you in Polyworks how we're going to grab measured cylinders and then we'll look at those as concentricity as a GD&T call out. I'm going to have Mike do most of the work today. I had a little surgery on hernia, so we're going to be uh, having Mike do all the work. I'm just going to tell him where to poke and how to do it. So, so hang tight with us. It's going to get loud in here for a little bit, but we'll measure this up and then we'll show you inside of Polyworks where we'll go to find concentricity as GD&T. Now back in the comfort and the quiet of the lab here at Diverse Dimensions and I've got the drawing up of this fabricated chassis from Genzink Steel. Notice down here this is the bore that I called the rear bore in this little uh, section view here and notice that it is designated as the datum C. Okay now if we look up at this front bore here in this section notice here is my concentricity it's at eight tenths of a thou back to datum C. Plus here's a little bit of criteria on the size of the diameter. Now notice here in my Polyworks workspace, we've got all the features measured already. And here is my rear bore measured up as a cylinder. I've already designated it as datum C. One thing I always do though, when I check for concentricity, I also look at the cylindricity of each of the features because definitely the cylindricity will, uh, will add some of the output or it does definitely affect the concentricity of the axes. So I look at both of the cylindricities on both of these bores. Okay, well, I wanted to show you those where C, where I designate the datum C. So in my model tree here on the rear bore, right mouse click, I can go to properties and then right up here under this features tab, the datum feature label is right here, datum C. And you can do that with this down arrow and then click it right there from the choices. Okay, so let's close out of that. Now, when I measure that front bore, or when Mike was measuring that front bore, again, I like to check it for its cylindricity here. Three-tenths of a thou, that's pretty sweet. I do like that cylindricity. I've got a diameter that's a little bit small, so it falls outside of their specification. But here's the concentricity back to datum C. It looks like it's a little bit thick. It's about 11 and a half thou. But now where we find that is if I go to the front bore here in the model tree, highlight him, I can right click on him and I can go to geometry controls and then it pulls up this dialog box here. Now what I've done is I've already got these populated in here but if you wanted to add a concentricity come over here to this dialog or to this little icon here left mouse click on him and here are the choices that you've got. Okay, so here's concentricity. I'll punch on him. And then here it shows up in this dialog area. So if you've got a concentricity here, I've got a value of about eight tenths of a thou. And then right here, with this down arrow, is where you designate the datum you're comparing it to. Okay, so there it is, concentricity of eight tenths of a thou back to C. And then just click outside of that any place and then it populates your uh, your con feature controls here and it also updates your annotation here. So if I had a screenshot of this it would have also updated that screenshot. But it's super easy to find that um, that concentricity if you look under this dialog here, this little icon for GD&T control under your geometry controls for that feature.